Hi everyone, this is Emmy. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this raised leaf 3D granny square. So let's get started. I'm working with worsted weight yarn and a 6 millimeter crochet hook. Start with a slip knot. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Slip stitch to join and form a ring. Chain two. This counts as one double crochet. Make two double crochet in the ring. To make a double crochet, yarn around the hook, insert into the stitch, pick up the yarn and pull it through, pick up the yarn, pull it through two, pick up the yarn, pull it through two, and make one more. And that is the equivalent of three double crochet. Chain two. Make three double crochet in the ring. One, two, and three. Chain two. Make three double crochet in the ring. One, two, and three. Chain two, one, two. Make three double crochet in the ring. Chain two, slip stitch to join in the top of the chain two. So you have four corners, which is the chain two space and you have four groups of three double crochet. So you have 12 double crochet and four chain two spaces. Row two, chain two. In this stitch right below the chain two, make two front post double crochet. To make a front post double crochet, yarn around the hook, go under the post from the front, and complete the double crochet. So I'm going to make two in that stitch. Make one front post double crochet in the next stitch. Make two front post double crochet in the next stitch. One, two, So we have five front post double crochet. One, two, three, four, five. In the chain two space, make double crochet, chain two, one, two, double crochet. Okay, so you're going to repeat that across the row. Two front post double crochet, one front post double crochet, two front post double crochet, double crochet, chain two, double crochet. So two front post double crochet, one, two, one front post double crochet, two front post double crochet, one, and two. In the chain two space, make double crochet chain two and double crochet. Now repeat across the row. Okay, I've finished that row and so I have five front post double crochet in each of these segments and in each corner I have a double crochet, chain two, double crochet. And there's my last five front post double crochet and now I'm at the last chain two space so in that chain two space, I'm going to make a double crochet, chain two, and that chain two counts as the second double crochet in the corner stitch. So I'm going to slip stitch to join in the top of the chain two. And so I have five front post double crochet in each of these segments, and in each corner, I have a double crochet, chain two, double crochet. Row three, chain two. 
In the stitch directly below the chain two, make a back post double crochet. To make a back post double crochet, yarn around the hook, insert around the post from the back, pick up the yarn and pull it through, and then complete the double crochet. In the next stitch, make two front post double crochet, then one, 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 and two. So two front post double crochet in the next stitch, one, two, one front post double crochet in the next three stitches, so one, two, and three, and two in the next stitch, one, and two. So now I have a back post double crochet and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven front post double crochet. In the next stitch, make a back post double crochet. And in the chain two space, make double crochet, chain two, double crochet. Okay, so you're going to repeat that all the way around. Okay, I worked all the way around. There's my last back post double crochet. There's my chain two space, double crochet, chain two, slip stitch in the second stitch of that first chain two. So in this row I have seven front post double crochet in each cluster. I have a back post and a back post on each side and I have my corner stitch. Now in row four I'm going to start decreasing for my leaf. So chain two. In the double crochet directly below the chain two make a back post double crochet. Make a back post double crochet in the next stitch. Now there are my seven. I'm going to reduce down to five. So I'm going to decrease by two stitches at each side. So to make a decrease front post double crochet, yarn around the hook, insert into the first stitch, pick up the yarn and pull it through, then pick up the yarn and pull it through two loops. And we're going to do that again in the next stitch. Pass under the front post, pick up the yarn and pull it through, pick up the yarn, pull it through two. You're now going to have three stitches on the hook. Pick up the yarn and pull it through all three. And now I'm going to make front post double, front post double, front post double, and then I'm going to decrease over here. So front post double, front post double, front post double, and I'm going to decrease in these two. So begin my front post, do the same thing in the next stitch, and then pull the yarn through all three loops. In the next two stitches make a back post double crochet. And now I'm back to my corner stitch, double crochet, chain two, double crochet. Okay, so I'm going to repeat that all the way around. So back post double crochet, back post double crochet, make a decrease front post here, front post, front post, front post, again decrease here, and then a back post in each of those stitches, and then a corner stitch. Okay, I worked all the way around. I ended with my two back posts. Now in this chain two space, I'm going to make double crochet, chain two, and I'm going to slip stitch in the beginning chain two of the row. Okay, so now I had seven front post double crochet in that row. I have now reduced to five. Row five, chain two. In the stitch directly below the chain two, Make a back post double crochet. And back post double crochet in each of the next two stitches. Now 
Now we're going to reduce again here. So we're going to pass under these two stitches as though they were one. So under those two stitches, pick up the yarn and pull it through, pick up the yarn, just pull it through those first two loops, and in the next stitch do the same thing, pull it through two loops, you'll have three loops on your hook, pick up the yarn, pull it through all three. These two are going to be reduced, so you only have to make a front post double crochet in this stitch. And then do another decrease here, so start your double crochet, and then come under both of these, and then pull through all three loops. And then back post double crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, and three. And now we're in a corner. So we're going to double crochet, chain two, double crochet. Okay, so you're going to repeat that all the way around. Back post, back post, back post, decrease, front post double crochet, decrease, back post, back post, back post, and then a corner. Okay, I worked all the way across the row. There's my last three back post double crochet. There's my chain two corner, and in there I'm going to make a double crochet, chain two, and slip stitch to join in the top of that first chain two. So we've now reduced to three front post double crochet and then three back post and a corner stitch. Row six, chain two. In the stitch directly below the chain two, make a back post double crochet. And back post double crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, and three. And now we're going to decrease all three of these stitches together. So under here, do the beginning of a double crochet. In the next one and in these last two you have four loops on your hook pick up the yarn and pull it through all four so now you've reduced for the top of your leaf and now you'll make a back post double crochet in the next four stitches so back post one two, three, and four. And we're at the chain two corner, so double crochet, chain two, double crochet. So we have reduced for the top of the leaf. And now you're going to repeat that all the way around. So it's going to be four back post double crochet, all three of these front post double crochet reduced into one, four back post double crochet, and a corner. So repeat that all the way around. Okay, I worked all the way around. There's my last four back post double crochet, and now I'm in my chain two. So in the chain two, make double crochet, chain two, and slip stitch to join in the top of the chain two. So now I have reduced and my leaf is formed. So now for the last row I'm just going to double crochet in each stitch all the way around. So double crochet in each stitch all the way around And in the corner stitch, make two double crochet, one, 
two. Chain two, one, two, and two double crochet, one, and two. Okay, so repeat that all the way around. Okay, I worked all the way around, and there's my last corner stitch, and then I slip stitch to join in that first chain two. So you have 11 double crochet between each corner stitch, not counting the stitches in the corner. So 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and then corners. And that's it. That's how easy it is to crochet this 3D raised leaf granny square. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.